Welcome to ETH Daily, a daily briefing on the latest in Ethereum. Uniswap proposes a 1 basis point fee tier on Optimism, Teller launches Buy Now Pay Later for NFTs, Pull Together adds support for Optimism, and Hop Protocol releases its transfer delay post-mortem. All this and more from ETH Daily starts right now. A proposal for a 1 basis point fee tier on Uniswap v3 for the Optimism Network is now live for voting. A 1 basis point fee tier provides traders with better rates and increases swap volume. Uniswap is targeting Optimism first as projects are currently incentivized to bring activity to the Layer 2 network by way of its OP governance token grants. Late last year, Uniswap implemented a 1 basis point fee tier for V3 on Ethereum, Mainnet, and Polygon. Curve Governance later moved to change the 3 pool basis fee to 1 basis point in order to stay competitive. Currently, the lowest fee tier for Uniswap on Layer 2 is 5 basis points. Voting for the proposal is taking place on Ethereum, Mainnet until July 15th. Teller Protocol has revealed the launch of its ApeNow Pay Later dApp for financing NFTs. The application works by locking NFTs in an escrow wallet during the repayment cycle. The NFT is then released once a loan is paid in full. Currently, the service offers 90-day loans at 30% APR. Depending on the project, buyers are required to pay a minimum down payment between 25 and 50%. If a borrower fails to make regular monthly payments, the down payment and NFT is liquidated to repay the loan. The funds are provided by users who offer liquidity through Teller's crypto lending platform. Hop Protocol released its transfer delay post-mortem, revealing issues it faced during Arbitrum Odyssey's Bridge Week. During heavy traffic, some users reported a delay of up to three days when bridging assets. One issue was tied to the number of transfers being made exceeding the number of transfers the bonder could process. Hop also faced RPC issues, including downtime and 42 missed events from the Alchemy RPC, which is used by some bonders. A third party also allowed its users to bridge with Hop even though there was no liquidity. All transfers on the bridge were eventually completed without any loss of funds. Pulled together, a prize savings protocol has added support for deposits on Optimism. The protocol already supports USDC deposits on Ethereum, Polygon, and Avalanche. With Pull Together, users deposit USDC into a savings account for a chance to win a share of daily prizes. Pull Together uses Chainlink VRFs to raffle the interest earned from user deposits. Each depositor has a chance to win an interest payment weighted by their average deposit size. The platform is coined as a no loss protocol because user funds are not wagered and can be withdrawn at any time. And lastly, Reaper Farm, an auto compounding yield aggregator, has also added support for Optimism. The integration currently supports deposits into four of Reaper Farm's crypts, which are buckets with various strategies including pooling, leveraging, and staking. The platform first launched on Phantom and remains in a beta phase. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories from ETH Daily. You can support this podcast by subscribing anywhere you listen and leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. Also, subscribe to our newsletter at newsletter.ether.fm. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>